Wouldn't it be nice to know how pro hackers can hack anyone on the planet? In this video, I'll show you exactly how it's done. I'll share some of the best hacking tools out there, how they should be used, and the secret tricks to become a pro hacker yourself. Disclaimer, this video solely focuses on teaching ethical hackers and security professionals about the best hacking tools and does not provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to use them. Black hat hacking is highly discouraged and can result in serious legal consequences. First, let's cover the tools you'll typically need for such an operation. The first thing you'll need is a basic computer. It really doesn't need to be advanced, you can even use your cell phone. The next thing you'll need are some hacking tools. And you can get a bundle with everything you need with an operating system like Kali Linux. The next thing you'll need is a decent internet connection. This is needed to remotely hack a device and keep the control for a long time. It doesn't need to be fast, just a normal subscription would do. Now that we've got the basics covered, let's dive deeper into the world of hacking. Step 1. Setting up your environment. Once you've got your computer or phone ready and your internet connection stable, it's time to set up your hacking environment. As mentioned earlier, Kali Linux is a top choice for many hackers. Why? Because it comes preloaded with hundreds of powerful hacking tools that can be used for everything from scanning networks to exploiting vulnerabilities. But remember, setting up your environment isn't just about installing the tools. You'll need to configure your system for optimal performance. For instance, ensuring your network settings are properly tuned and that your firewall isn't blocking any of the tools you'll be using. You might also want to use a VPN or Tor network to mask your activities and keep yourself anonymous. Step 2. Reconnaissance. Gathering information. Before you can hack into a system, you need to know what you're up against. This is where reconnaissance comes in. Reconnaissance is all about gathering as much information as possible about your target. You can use tools like Nmap to scan the network and identify open ports and services. Social engineering techniques can also be incredibly effective here, helping you gather information from human sources. Step 3. Scanning and vulnerability analysis. Once you've gathered enough intel, it's time to scan your target for vulnerabilities. Tools like Nessus or Burp Suite can be used to automate the scanning process. These tools will help you identify weaknesses in the target system, such as outdated software or weak passwords. The key here is to be patient and thorough. Missing a small vulnerability could mean missing your chance to gain access. Step 4. Exploitation. Gaining access with the vulnerabilities in hand, you can now move on to the exploitation phase. This is where the real hacking happens. You'll use tools like Metasploit to exploit the vulnerabilities you've identified and gain access to the target system. Once inside, you can plant backdoors, elevate your privileges, or exfiltrate data. Step 5. Maintaining access. Gaining access is one thing, but maintaining it is another. You don't want to lose your connection the moment the target reboots their system or installs a security update. To maintain access, you can use tools like Netcat to set up persistent backdoors or even create custom malware that ensures you remain in control. Step 6. Covering your tracks. Finally, a crucial step that many beginners overlook. Covering your tracks. Once you've achieved your objective of gaining access, you need to ensure there's no trace left behind. Clearing logs, using anti-forensic tools, and securely deleting files are all part of this process. Remember, the best hackers are the ones who never get caught. Hacking isn't just about having the right tools. It's about strategy, patience, and continuous learning. The best hackers are those who stay ahead of the curve, constantly updating their skills and knowledge. So, if you want to become a pro hacker, start practicing now. If you want to learn about the best websites to practice hacking, check out these videos next. And don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions. Happy hacking!